Hello everyone and welcome back to a Graveyard Keeper. Where, um, I'll drop those off. I do need to make some, some sort of fried food there, honestly. Uh, fried mushrooms for now, because we're just not getting the fish that we need, which is a bit vexing. Also, I need to go out and grab a healthy amount of extra, um, uh, we'll drop that off there for now until I move it down to the mortuary. Uh, healthy amount of extra frogs. So that's probably going to be a trip to Clotho, I'm thinking, in our very near future. Let's drop you down there and finish off the polishing paste. Now, hopefully, this does not take me too much effort. I'm not going to buy extra grape seeds right now from the merchant. I don't think we need them, uh, but I will be heading to the farmer probably on the next day. We're going to do a little bit of work first. And then on the, the next day, we'll head and buy a bunch of things from the farm. And I think that'll be the more important part of it. Ultimately, we have to get... Uh, oh, there we go. Nice. Let's get 10 of these made nice and fast. We do need to get a bunch of stuff um, put together. We need the conical flasks for alchemy. And we, we need at least the basic alchemy station in order to do the merchant's quest with uh, getting his sense of taste back. Alchemy Station 2 would be the wrong one to make because it requires three components and I'm fairly certain the spices required, what was it, um, life essence and or, or life powder and salt. So we'll see about that. Uh, there we are. Um, not quite enough. So let's go ahead and build, or rather forge a, where are you, a chisel. In fact, make three chisels for us. We're going to need them. I'm also going to need some extra food. So let's go and check on the house. We got plenty of bread. We do. We'll go ahead and eat those straight away. I could go out and just grow... Uh, you know what? Eating raw mushrooms, as you've seen, not particularly clever because they actually hurt you. But berries, on the other hand, super okay. They're fine. You don't get a lot of energy back from them, but you get enough energy back from them to gather more energy, which... No, it works out well in the end. I wonder how long they, they take to flower. I don't know, but I'm going to use these ones to just grab a couple more berries besides. There we go. Perfect. Now we're going to gobble down all of the berries until we literally turn into a berry. What kind of berry would we be? Probably probably something macabre, like a corpse berry. Yes, I imagine that would be uh, our berry being a graveyard keeper. There we go. We're going to just drop... Um, all three of these off in there. We'll just carry on with making the polished brick. Uh, it's a bit of a pain to do it this way, but... Uh, I mean, we're getting a steady supply of faith, I suppose. And you can't turn your nose up at that. Yeah. If we can just get up to 24, then we can get the fence around the graveyard done. And that is a big thing for us. And drop these off. 19, so we just need another five. Have we got enough berries to make it that far? I really don't know. We'll see. We've definitely got enough um, uh, enough stone. We've got uh, enough chisel to do that. But no, we don't have enough energy. Much sadness. Uh, drop these off. We just need another two. Actually, that being said, I do in fact believe that we may have enough polished brick already at the graveyard to make this a reality. Oh, happiest of days. Marvellous, I say. Uh, so we'll pop you down there as well. Bread, really inferior as a food source. Ah, you know what? Let's just get roaring drunk. We barely need to touch wine for it to completely restore our stamina. And it's not like we're, we're hurting for wine. Sure, I'll have one stack of wine. That's gonna, for now on, be my, be my energy restorative. Ah. Uh, how, how we have returned to the old ways of Graveyard Keeper in the Alpha. We're just going to go around all day, every day, being royally sloshed. Or maybe I shouldn't say that. We're in a time where we might uh, actually be, uh, be uh, hunted down by the secret police for doing anything that only royals are allowed to be, including being sloshed like them. Right, okay, so we've got enough now to unlock something. Embalming table 2 would be nice, getting to the point where we no longer have to worry about uh, accidentally messing up our cut. Also nice. Yeah, wine master. Yeah, let's get that. Just before we get to uh, 
to brewing beer as well. Uh, you drink uh, good alcohol, especially wine. Your hangover depends on the alcohol you've drank. Moreover, all alcohol you make has better quality. And that is a good place to be, if you ask me. All right, before we go and deal with the church yard, though, we want to get all and everything done down here, I think. Um, or do we? Yeah, we do. Because this way we can drop off a bunch of uh, items in uh, Comma Donkey's trunk as well. Let's get all of this done. There we are. In fact, let's just harvest everything and then we can take care of everything else as well. There we are. Get the hemp done. Not that we really need the hemp seeds. Honestly, if you're finding the grind in this game a little bit tiresome, just focus on the things that make you the most money because it is stupidly easy to make progress in this game by buying your way through the quests. And I really do appreciate that option. Uh, not because I, I find the grind in this game unpleasant. I, as I've mentioned before, I actually find the grind in this game quite pleasant. I think this is a really well-balanced game in terms of the pacing of its grinding. But the the ability to just be like, yeah, I don't feel, I'm not feeling it today, so I'm just going to throw money at my problem until it goes away. It's just it's just nice to have options. Let's put it that way. Grab all these seeds. Um, sure, let's actually start replanting as well. So, what do we want to start on? Uh, gold, gold onion seeds. Yeah, let's get you down. Then the silver onion seeds thereafter. Now, I have been told that if I use bronze quality, it'll give me back bronze quality stuff. But we've seen that isn't the case with wine, at least. And I know I'm, I'm risking some pretty... Pretty nice items here for that. Still, I, I'm hopeful that we're going to be able to put that myth to bed or confirm it one way or t'other, really. Uh, let's get you going. Have I got any other seeds that I can plant here that would be useful to plant here? Um, no. Not really. Uh, not a single item, anyway. Uh, I guess I'll just pop some hemp down. That'll be fine. Uh, we definitely need a lot more carrots, though. That is an absolute. That wine, so good. Just one glug of wine, almost full energy. If I had silver wine, I'd have all right on top of full energy, I believe. Gold wine, oh my lord. But again, we'll resist since that's significantly more valuable. And do you. Let's get all these down. Uh, we'll start with hemp. Hemp seed. Then we'll start building out to... Have I got enough more help? Uh, yes, I do, actually. Marvellous. Uh, if I'd real, <laughs> I should have really counted the amount of hemp seeds I had across both uh, trunks. Uh, sorry, my, the trunk and my inventory, because that is going to annoy me that I didn't put the three hemp plants in the same row. It's the little things that get to me the most, I think. And right, some carrots. There we are. More carrots and more carrots again. Marvellous. And let's continue. Get all of this done. We've got a, a reasonable amount to plant, actually. I'm a little bit surprised by the, just the sheer amount of crops that we still have, despite the fact I haven't gone out of my way to go and get seeds. Uh, Alright. Cabbage seeds up next. Oh, still haven't got enough room to store anything, so let's go and drop off the seeds that we picked up. There we go, and the crop waste, of course. Gold star onions, very, very nice indeed. So yeah, I, I I, think we've quashed that actually. We must have planted gold star onions previously. It's been a while since I've uh, tended the garden, so I hope you don't mind me forgetting. But yeah, so that is clearly not the case. You don't get back what you plant in terms of the quality of the fertilizer. It probably just affects the amount of time it takes for the, the fertilizer to, uh, to do its work or something along the lines of um, the likelihood of you getting an equal or greater amount of seeds back, so on and so forth. That's what I'm going to put my money on. Uh, and I think that's probably the only thing that it affects, really. And I get the big seed over there. Okay, we've still, still got a lot of land that we're not making use of yet. And if we want to start making massive amounts of money in trading, then that is definitely something we need to start working on. Go ahead and get you guys. There we are. And 
start planting them, but it's, first we're going to have to drop off the uh, produce. There we go. Marvellous. Uh, and the wheat. And the hemp, actually. Ooh, wrong bloody chest. Why was I not paying attention? My bad. There we go. This, of course, goes over here. Our produce chest. And from here, we will hopefully be able to start packing things and making a decent profit on it. Right, we've got enough lentil seeds that I'm thinking that we're probably going to be able to expand this out quite excessively. Can we? No, we don't have enough. Damn. All right. Well, we're going to have to get on top of that then. Uh, silver it is then. Got enough for uh, plenty of silver lentil seed. Uh, there we go. And we'll drop off these seeds. All right. Well, that's not too bad, I guess. Uh, drop those off. I dropped off the wrong thing. There we are. Now then, how about we have a look at this? Uh, yeah, yeah, I just need 22 silver onions, 20 lentils, 16 silver pumpkins, 22 gold onions, 22 gold lentils, or 16 gold pumpkins. Okay, well, we've got none of these yet, but uh, we'll get there. We will get there. Uh, what have I got to drop off? I've got some... Magus drop off. Might as well get these going. I find it quite cathartic doing the gardening for some reason. All right, I, I think that's true of pretty much every game I play. There's something really just relaxing about managing gardens and, and uh, feeling like uh, like I'm I'm living in balance. Uh, not always the case, mind you, because. I'm very certain quite often I'm taking more than I'm actually giving back to the ground. But, you know, I always endeavour to, at the very least. Uh, I decided to bring up the extra peat that we had. Might as well, in my opinion. Right, got our first harvest of hops now. Okay, so that marks a new uh, endeavour for us. Uh, we've got enough hops to plant two of them back and have one leftover seed. Sure, and get the grape seeds down. More grape seeds, please. Thank you. Uh, let's get all of these done. Now we can get even more wine on the go. Honestly, at this point, now that we can sell the wine to Herodric, money is becoming increasingly less of an option. Granted, we're not going to be buying, like, you know, aristocratic titles anytime soon. Still, it would be nice if we could, of course, but... Uh, right, let's get grape seeds. All the grape seeds. In fact, I'm going to just plant these out, and we'll see then if we can get it across to the other side as well. Just so that we've got an entire row done, because it saves me a bit of walking as I'm having to move from one place to the, the next to uh, harvest the next crop. I will try to keep the silver grapes isolated, though, from the copper ones. There we are, and... Done. That's all the copper grape seeds planted. Marvellous. Right, let's leave these off. There we are. Oh, yeah, that was hop seeds, not hemp seeds. I was like, what on earth did I just harvest? There we go. On the way back, we'll drop off the uh, crop waste as well. And then finally, after making plans to do this right, right at the beginning of the episode, we will go over to the graveyard and try to set up the new graveyard fence. I'm very hopeful that it's going to result in a decent amount of extra um, income for us. Not, again, that we particularly need that money. Ah, we're drinking wine in order to have the energy to plant more grapes to make more wine. Circle of life, everyone. Circle of life. Let's uh, plant these over here again. Uh, once again, just try to keep the, the whole groups of crops together, I think, would be a better idea. There we go. Now, uh, I actually started getting a couple of uh, comments recently, or rather one in particular that stands in my mind, uh, where the viewer was um, felt that a lot of the when I'm like planting crops or, or inventory management, 
that they would prefer if I just fast forwarded through that part. Now, the reason why I don't do that, because I have done that quite extensively in the past, is that I got a lot of feedback saying that, well, oh, actually, I kind of like watching you doing it. Like listening to the, the old things that you might talk about while you're doing a, 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 a kind of a mundane task where you're not having to focus on it at all. Uh, and I totally get that, and that's why I tend to leave it in, because the, the, the large part of my... Um, the response that I got was was that yeah don't cut it out we kind of kind of uh, gain enjoyment from having that stuff in now I totally understand not liking it because uh, I, I guess myself I tend to err on the side of yeah don't don't include it unless there's something new going on or something novel let's put let's say novel because that uh, uh, describes it a little bit more accurately. Um, however, that being said, um, do let me know in the comments whether you want me to leave that in, because it doesn't really take much extra effort for me to, um, mark or, or make notes of where I'm doing, like, a lot of inventory management and then just do a, a quick jump cut to the end of that section. Um, but, you know, you do, you are likely to miss out on any just rambling I do. When, when, if I'm doing a monotonous task where I'm not having to c concentrate too much on it, my, my mind tends to go to anecdotes and my childhood and sometimes I'll just start randomly talking about things or stuff I've learned or stuff I've seen, etc, etc. So uh, let me know in the comments and I will uh, consider adjusting the way that I record these. Uh, of course, there will always be times when I just forget to, to include it. So this isn't some sort of oath that, yes, absolutely, I will never again leave this in because that's just not going to happen. But I will uh, I will adjust it a little bit to accommodate. Ooh, are these ready to harvest? Ah, oh, they are. We won't harvest them just yet. I don't need them. But one thing I want to check in here. Can I build a trunk? Can I build a trunk? Can I, can I make a trunk? No. I can't make a mortuary rack though, so yeah, I could just leave the um, food on the mortuary rack, of course. What a stupid, stupid, stupid man I am. I'm a very silly sausage sometimes. I'm like, well, I haven't got a trunk. I can't possibly put it into a, a trunk. That's a mortuary rack. That's only for mortuary things. And this isn't a mortuary thing. This is something that just helps. Ah, oh, come on now. Everything has its place and everything should be in its place. You can't just run around sticking food in mortuary racks. What if you get confused one night? Because you basically subsist off wine. And instead of reaching for your handy dandy snack that's going to mean you make less surgical mistakes, you reach for a heart. And you're bleary eyed, you're possibly cross eyed. You might be seeing five hands holding 22 hearts because really, you know. You can only sustain your, your existence on wine for so long before you start paying a hefty price for it. And then suddenly, you're a cannibal. And it's like, well, okay, too late now. I can't I can't be an uncannibal. I've already been a cannibal, so I may as well just carry on. And then all of a sudden, Dark Avak is involved, and the next thing we know, no one is left alive in the village. I've just slowly converted them all into food. I, I was okay with just eating corpses for a while, and then it was like, oh man, Comrade Donkey's taking so long to bring these corpses, so I ate Comrade Donkey. Uh, no, actually, that's a lie. I would never eat Comrade Donkey. You're completely safe. I'll protect you always, Comrade Donkey. But the townspeople, or, or rather the village people, they're, they're not so protected because the thing is, once you've got a, got a taste for eating human flesh, it, uh, it's just the most succulent of, of, of pigs. Long or short? No. It, it, it's got to be the people. Ah, it, it, it's, a, it's a slippery slope, ladies and gentlemen. It starts off, you just want you just want to get your job done. You want to be a good graveyard keeper. And then you're not getting enough corpses, so you start making the corpses. You know, it doesn't matter if they, it wasn't their time yet. I mean, you made it their time. So ultimately, look, if if, if we're to believe the, that uh, the Inquisition, then the gods wouldn't let us do something that we weren't meant to do. No, no. What would... Basically, if 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 the Almighty didn't come down and strike us, strike us down for trying to eat people, then it's basically them saying we were meant to at that time. Now, I'm not saying that they're saying it's okay. They're just saying we were meant to. Maybe we were meant to serve as some grand villain in some cosmic plot that will, in the in in the 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 uh, distant future, ultimately come full circle, and we will be the catalyst for some hero. To, to mark a change in humanity. And uh, it was all part of grand plan and, and everything had its place and everything was in its place, even us. See, oh man, I find it really, really way too easy to justify eating people. I, it's a skill, but it's, a t it's kind of a scary skill, really. 
Hmm. I'm going to have to reflect on this at great length. All right, let me drop off all of these odds. There we go. We need some advanced metal parts. Ah. Wow. That was, that was a nice jaunt through the uh, cavernous, cavernous recesses of my brain. Labyrinthine, sometimes. Uh, but okay, let's get all of the advanced metal parts, and then we can wander off and get the graveyard sorted. And it'll be all grand. And we can forget about eating people, for now. Uh, there we go. The last two. I don't know why I'm carrying bread. As we've already already decided, it's basically God's plan that we need to just get so drunk that one night we accidentally eat someone's heart instead of a burger. Though, maybe, maybe this is a sign that maybe I shouldn't worry about using people meat. Because ultimately, I'm going to eat someone's heart anyway and become a cannibal. Why don't I just, just make it a little bit more tasty than having to, you know, just chow down on the raw heart that I just took out of someone? Yeah, I think I think probably that would be the best way to do it. I love the graveyard fence. Though. Well done. Can we upgrade it even further? No. That makes me a little sad. Oh, well. I don't think I can choose to make a better version of this. We might be able to. I'm going to drop these off for now. I'm also going to drop off the bread. We'll send it to the, uh, to the bishop. I need to bring some more nails and some more flitch down here. And since I'm down here anyway, may as well grab a uh, log and carry it back with me on the way. But yeah, th my plan is if we can make those um, uh, prayer stations, uh, the little wooden shrines, out of better books, and they give me more prestige for that, then that is definitely a point in favour of uh, of using those of the flower beds. Otherwise, honestly, it, it doesn't really make much difference. It's much ado about nothing, really. Um, we might find it would be slightly more efficient sometimes, but for the effort of going out and, and harvesting red flowers, or, or right, uh, orange flowers, I, I don't really think using all of the resources involved in a book really compares. Let's be honest with ourselves. That being said, I mean, you do get a decent chunk of faith out of making books, so yeah, I guess it's not wasted effort. It's just not the most um, efficient use of my resources, let's put it that way. Uh, right. Um, I'm gonna need to grab some more river sand. Okay, that one won't be too bad. And I've got enough nails that I don't need to make more nails, which is also pretty nice. Uh, got everything I need. Sure, I don't need to sleep. I've got wine. Wine means I don't need to sleep. I'm now sleeping immune. Uh, really, all I'm doing is hastening the the eventual consumption of the human heart. But uh, oh. What what if in this story, I just thought I was a cannibal all along, but some some I don't know Clotho having had some vision, replaced just that particular heart with a pig's heart. It looks near enough identical, and from from what I'm told, of course I, I I've got no no reason to know this myself. You understand? I am told they taste near identical, so uh, maybe maybe uh, no I can't I can't make them better. So yeah. As far as I'm aware, that's not actually a very good way of doing it. Hmm. 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 Well. That's 12. It's not as good as the best grave I could make. At all. But maybe the, the silver one would be. Uh, anyone want to confess your sins? No? Uh, to be honest, it feels like I'm the one that needs to confess the sins. Uh, right. Stained glass. Oh, I just need regular... Oh, jewelry. Tricky. Tricky. We're all right. That gives five. I imagine these three can be replaced with stained glass. Okay, well, we've got enough silk. I just need eight planks, four joinings. I think we can make this happen, yes. Yes, we most certainly can. I could, of course, jump over to the astrologer if I'm really fast. Pick up some more faith on the way. I... I think so, yes. Yeah, let's let's make this happen. So grab all the wine. We're gonna make a quick hop, skip, and a jump. Use lighthouse. I should have enough money on me to just buy this right now. Good. Uh, sure. Okay, I'll buy one while I'm here. There we go. Thank you very much. Most appreciated. Oh, I should have grabbed the fish while I was on the way. 
I could have sold them to you, didn't I? No, 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 no. Uh, actually, I want to get rid of all of that. I would like to buy this, but we're not going to be able to afford it. Uh, no. I can easily catch it myself. There's no particular reason to do that. Okay, a bit of a walk back to the dead horse, but it's all right. Now, we're not going to have enough time to get the stained glass ready for the next sermon. And that is a shame, to be certain, but... I think I think we can manage it. I think we can manage it. It's fine. Uh, we are going to need to go and deal with the um, with the merchant the next chance we get, though. I may just straight up buy the gold jewelry. That said, with the amount of faith that we're accruing, maybe I can instead, uh, after the next sermon, just make a beeline straight for that. Possibly. Uh, Forty-five silver. 100% accept. Thank you ever so much. That is glorious. Well done, you. You are now broke. Alright, let's go and have a quick word with the farmer as well. If we're lucky, they haven't already gone to bed. Uh, but they quite possibly have. Uh, when am I going to sleep? I don't know. This might become an end of the episode thing from now on, thanks to the ridiculous amount of wine I have. Hello. I have to have a word with you. I mean, I don't have to. I want to. I want to talk with you, my fine fellow. I want all of your pumpkin seeds. And all of your silver onion seeds as well. Uh, in fact... Was it just silver pumpkins? Uh, I'm going to buy them all. Yep. And then I'm going to buy all of your carrot seeds too. I'm not going to buy all your cabbage seeds. I've frankly got way too much of it. I'm going to buy all your beet seeds. And I'm going to buy all your wheat seeds. And I'm... No! no resist! Ah, don't spend all of your cash! But it's so easy to do. Uh, if I get this, I'm... No, I don't need cabbages. If I could sell stacks of cabbages at, at, at our business, then sure. But as far as I'm aware, it's just onions and pumpkins. Okay? Calm myself. Don't spend all the money just because you got it. It's easy to get. That may be true. But just because it's easy to get, this isn't a problem yet. Throwing our money at it is completely unnecessary as things stand. <sighs> Though on that note, uh, it looks like our carrots are ready. The crops have grown. Fantastic. Uh, let me grab... Where are your carrots? There we go. Sure, we'll go and start setting these up. Though, that being said, I really would like I pop that one there. Ooh. You know, I kind of feel the desire to have these growing like that instead. Yeah, we're going to dedicate one area to lentils and we're going to have them vertical instead. I think that's going to work out a little bit better. Because then we can walk up and down the roads. <gasps> or we could... Ah, oh, damn it. We could have them on these sides. And then regular crops in the middle. Ah, oh, what a... A, a dire derp I am. A dire derp. Very, very high level. You want a party of at least four level sevens to take on the dire derp. Um, okay, well, we'll go with the, the silver lentils for now. There we are. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna grab the rest. Not not for the, the time being. Instead, we're gonna go and prepare. Uh, we're gonna give Comrade Donkey plenty of carrots because we are most definitely in need of them. We've got more than enough room. I don't intend on going on any crazy adventures just for a little while. I will maintain, however, that we'll only give um, one stack at a time. I think that's generally gonna be a, a safer option. It'll just allow us to manage our time a little bit better. We need loads of sand, because we want glass. A lot of glass, if that's it happens. And maybe in making the glass, we will get up to the point that we'll then be able to have enough faith to make all of the stained glass, which would be quite nice. <sighs> okay, time for, time for digging. We've got 25 faith already. 2,150. 
in two more stacks of, of sand. There we go. 50. My goodness. I don't know how much river sand is needed to make each pane of glass, though. So I'm going to dig. Uh, that's coming easy enough. Uh, let's gobble down some bread. I sold all my, my wine. A bit of a, bit of a dirt and gray, but, uh, Classic ammo. There we go. We will get... I'll keep on going. Why? There we go. thought my shovel had broken or something. And one more, I think. No, one more. There we go. That breaking my rhythm threw me off. Right, let's go and get plenty of sand being made now. And with that, we should be good, I would say. Now, the white powder will allow us to make, I believe, the uh, porcelain um, urns. Which would be particularly nice. Uh, let's drop all this in there, because it's more, mostly a smelting item. Uh, you do not have any coal. I need to bring you coal. Oh, no. Well, well, well. We have a met armor. Our match. Okay. I guess tomorrow, then, in tomorrow's episode, rather, we're going to be heading into the mining area to gather at least, at the very least, a ridiculous amount of coal. Not really how I thought we were going to be using our time, but all right. Let's go ahead and drop this off. We'll drop off the sticks for now. And with that, we can make our run over to the church. Hopefully, we'll have enough time to uh, get everything sorted. Now, is there anything I particularly wanted to make in here? Is there anything I can get you making for me? Onion rings? Uh, toasted onions? Meh. Not really sure about that one. Uh, no, I, I don't think so. I really don't. Uh, I mean, we've got beets that I can go and grab. Well, I guess I can make some berry pies. Sure, let's get those on the go. They can replace my uh, lack of wine for now. Ooh, two silver wines. Won't say no. Let's get these on the go. I'll just carry the wine with me. Save a little bit of time. Got a, got a bit of work that I want to try and do before the sermon. So, let's see. We've got one regular book. Let's go ahead and upgrade this book straight away. Ah, we lack the two faith. Drat. I had completely forgotten that. Oh, well. Let's grab you. All right, then. No, no confessions. No, no confessions. I want to get those upgraded uh, ASAP. I'm going to have to buy a little... Oh, there we are. It's upgraded now. I was a little bit concerned that that wasn't going to upgrade for some reason. But no, it has. All this time to this. All right. Let's have a chat. I would like to trade. I can. Oh, I can sell. Wow, okay. Didn't realize that was going to be a saleable item, but uh, all right. Let's grab. Ah, look, I'm going to get loads of money from this sermon, so I'm just going to grab 14 items here. There we go. You're getting a little bit closer now. But it would seem that I may be able to sell my previous combo prayer. That is something I'm particularly happy about, yes. Let's get all the candles lit, then we'll end up with a couple more to spare as well. Now that we've got wine on the make once again, everything should be good. Right, so drop the candles off, don't need them. Uh, we'll pick that up just in case we can straight up salad. Yes, I think so. All right, you know, let, let's... I know it's silver. I'm just going to have rosy cheeks for the sermon. That's all. I've got to make sure I'm using the right prayer. That, that would be a typical drunk priest thing to do. Make the wrong sermon. There we go, though. Uh, if we can get up to uh, make the advanced candelabras, that's probably going to help quite a lot in getting uh, a nice little boost to our church's um, quality. Okay, that, that looks primed. After this prayer, let's see that extra faith flow through. And knock some of these faith bubbles straight into the karma. Yes, one. Oh, just one? That much faith? Uh, oh, oh, wow. Oh, well. Uh, right, let's have a look. Is it a little bit more than last time? Yeah, a tiny bit more than last time. That'll do. Comrade Donkey is going to start delivering things very soon, though. And that'll be grand. Let's go and see if I can't sell this silver prey for money, though. Would you like to buy it off me? Trade. No. No. 
Uh, you'll only buy copper until we probably get up to tier 2. Super sad. Oh well. Uh, can we make the double candelabras yet? We can. We can make the double wall candelabras too. Absolutely something I need to do. Uh, let me go and grab the planks. I need, think we need 8 per. So 16 planks are needed. What we're going to be working on. Uh, oh, we didn't have any actual planks. Okay. Uh, grab you though. Yes, okay. Looks like we're going to need to bring a wallop load of simple metal parts and advanced metal parts for upgrading all of our candelabras. We're going to want to upgrade the church bench, so we're going to need 16 um, wooden planks, 8 joinings, and we've already got the silk there. Okay, this seems like something we can manage in the next episode, after we've been to the mining camp and gathered up a decent chunk of things there. I need to make some more storage down here, though, because I'm using this storage up a little bit too fast, you may have noticed. Let's make a silver hardcover book, though. And try our hand at making another combo pro. Uh, oh, I've got to make the book first. Uh, there we go. And a silver chapter. Where are we, chapters? Do I have any of the required notes? Yes, I do. Glorious. Let's go. Please give me a silver chapter. Don't don't mess me around now, game. Okay? There we are. Well done, you. Now I want the silver book. 50%. Come on, silver book. Come on, silver book. Silver book! Success! Uh, that's worth a celebration, I think. Ha-ha! <laughs> right, let us make a combo pray. 80% chance of a silver combo pray. Begin the crafting. We are victorious. Is the bishop still going to be there? That would be grand if he was. Bishop... Bishop, 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 Bishop. I've got something to sell for you. Who? How dare you abandon your post? Worst Bishop. One out of ten. Uh, all right then. Well, that leaves us a little bit of extra faith that we can use to upgrade. Uh, sorry, to study a couple of things. And then we can get them out of that area. So, uh, okay, we can't study you. That's a bit of a shame. Um, yeah, no, you're just gold. Uh, sorry, green, rather. Uh, can we get enough? We have, sure. Then we can get the steel out of here, at the very least. Because I've not seen an ingot used for anything standalone at all. So, and then we'll we'll study the, the piece of iron. Again, not something I've seen used as a standalone. That being said, I wouldn't be too surprised if some things could be used in the end as... Uh, crafting ingredients for alchemy like an actual you know shavings of of uh, silver or, or ground up gold dust or something like that I, I would not be at all surprised if that was something that we could do okay we, we lack the necessary items there much sad thank you I'll carry that around as my food source for now then all of the wine can go in there and in general Fairly happy with what we've managed to do. Still carrying around the uh, the food that I really, really am meant to drop off. Silly me. Oh well. Uh, can I get? Have we got enough to, to smelt? One ingot? Yeah, we do. Sure, go ahead then. Smell some ingots. But with that, it's sleep time. Ah, our grave keeper has been awake for several days bless them. But that is it for me. I really do hope you've enjoyed the episode. In the next one, we're going to be heading straight over to the mining camp and spending a little bit getting some coal. And then, from there, we will start making plenty of glass and hopefully we'll focus on, on building up our um, our uh, church for a little bit. But before we leave, I do want to check one more thing. Have you got any silver pumpkins? No, we don't yet. We may have some down there though we will find that out in the next episode i really do hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for the next but until then and as ever do take care everyone